Where do you think you're going with that wet hair? Don't you know you'll get sick with that wet hair? But, 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 but Dad, Dr. Liberis said that it's a myth. I can walk out in my cold hair and be okay. I don't care. Dry your hair. No! That was close. As kids growing up, there must have been many times where your father, mother, sister, brother, or your sweet old grandma have told you not to go out when the weather is really cold because it'll make you sick. So the question is, does cold weather really make you sick? Is it fact or fiction? What does it mean to say that someone has caught the common cold? Well, to begin, the common cold is actually a viral infection. Now, there are over 200 different types of viruses that may affect your body and cause you to feel flu-like symptoms. <laughs> Rhinoviruses are the most predominant class of viruses that cause these symptoms. The viruses enter our body and into our cells. The, the body activates the innate immune system which causes the initiation of a cascade of immune cells such as macrophages, T cells, to come and fight the disease. And as a result of these immune cells fighting this virus, you feel flu-like symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, and inflammation. So that sets the biggest point. If there is no viral infection, there is no common cold. Now let's evaluate whether or not this myth holds true by looking at both sides of the story. In an experiment conducted at the Common Cold Center in the UK, experimenters inoculated a virus into the nose of patients. And then they exposed the patients to different degrees of cold temperatures by sitting in a cold chamber. The results of the experiments concluded that there was no causal relationship between cold exposure and the development of flu-like symptoms. So what this study shows is that being exposed to cold environments may not make you more susceptible to catching the common cold. A study in China found that being indoors in crowded places with low levels of ventilation may cause you to be more likely to catch the cold than cold weather. <laughs> to make matters worse, another study showed that healthy men sitting in a cold chamber for two hours actually showed an increase in the level of their immune response. So that was pretty easy, right? So far we showed that there is no relationship between being cold and developing a viral infection and that crowded areas and less ventilation may be a bigger factor than the cold environment itself. And that being in cold environments may actually cause you to have an increased immune response. So does that mean myth busted? Not so fast. There is evidence to suggest that being in cold environments for a long time may actually cause you to develop flu-like symptoms. Studies found that there was a 19% increase in the development of respiratory tract infections with every decrease in 1 degree Celsius in temperatures below 5 degrees. Furthermore, the actual structure of the virus may be beneficial in cold temperatures. Since the viral membrane is made out of phospholipids, cold temperatures may affect the mobility of its membrane. Cold temperatures cause a hardening of the phospholipid bilayer and what this causes is that it makes the virus cell less susceptible to immune attack. And to top it all off, a breakthrough study from Yale University shows that there may be a link between cold temperatures and the development of flu-like symptoms. They found that at body temperatures, our cells showed a high enough level of immune activity that was good enough for us to fend off against viral infections. However, by decreasing the cells by a few degrees, this reduced the immune activity and thus caused the virus to proliferate. So that being said, where do we find ourselves? Is this myth fact or is it fiction? And the answer is, your grandma was right. Being cold weather will increase the likelihood of you developing flu-like symptoms.
And I know we said before that being in crowded environments and having less ventilation will cause you to develop flu-like symptoms, but this doesn't have to do anything with our body's ability to defend against viral infections when exposed to cold temperature. And even though there is an increase in the level of leukocytes in cold environments, this doesn't mean that your body is better off fighting against viral infections. So what you need to remember after watching this video is that cold environments will cause your body to have a decreased immune response. It will cause the membranes of the viruses to harden and thus disguise itself against the immune cells. And overall, it will make you sick. So the best way to protect yourself from the cold is to warm up!